वेलकम देयर स्टूडेंट्स दीज डेज आई एम डीलिंग विथ टॉपिक हेप्लॉयड डाई हेप्लॉयड डबल हेप्लॉयड इट्स यूजेज सो नाउ दिस इज पार्ट फोर इन यूजेज नाउ कम टू सी हियर क्विक डेवलपमेंट ऑफ इन ब्रेड लाइन्स as you know that for development of hybrids you must have homozygous lines and as as you know that in case of cross pollinated crops the nearly homozygous lines are known as inbred lines which are developed by selfing or inbreeding continuous selfing or inbreeding of opv that is open pollinated varieties or synthetics synthetics or composites or even hybrids the continuous which is taking 7 8 years to come to uh homozygosity near hum homozygosity so after 7 8 years you are going to develop the inbred lines as you know that for developing hybrids new hybrids you need every year new inbred lines good new inbred lines to develop new hybrids so here also you see the uses of double haploid lines it is very very important particularly for cross pollinated crops you see quick development of inbred lines if it is taking 7 8 years by normal breeding method and if it is taking only 2 3 years so how many years you are reducing by double haploid uh, lines technique dhl techniques see here as in case of cross pollinated crops like maize it takes about 7 to 8 years to develop new inbred lines by continuous selfing or inbreeding of an open pollinated variety synthetics composites hybrids but through dhl double haploid line techniques we may obtain inbred lines quickly with within uh, within 2 3 years within 2 3 years just you take hypothetical example example here in maize if it is opb let it be synthetic composites hybrids any so if it if it is this opv or synthetic composites whatever you see and if it is having capital a small a, a a variety of maize having capital a small a capital b small b capital c uh, small c small c small d small d small e small uh, capital e small e capital f e small f e small g e small g hypothetically i am putting the genotype of this which is having this type of uh, uh, genetic uh, makeup if you do anther pollen or ovule culture you are going to get haploids and many types of 100000 types of haploids you are going to get through anther culture ovule culture from a single opv so you see in first year through anther culture you are developing the haploid one for example you take hypothetical example small a small b small c small d small e small f small g which is rare haploid one capital a capital b small c small d capital e capital f small g haploid two likewise may types of haploids you are getting through anther culture so if you are putting if you are treating it with the colchicine these haploids are becoming double haploid line one so for first if you are treating you are getting double haploid line one for two you are treating double haploid line two for three you are treating double haploid line three for hundreds of haploid line you are getting hundreds double haploid line so if you are treating colchicin here in haploid 1 you are going to get the double haploid line which with the genotype of small a small a small b small b small c small c small d small d small e small e small f small f small g small g like that the dhl1 then if you are treating this by colchicin you are getting capital a capital a capital b capital b small c small c capital d small d small d capital e capital e capital f capital f 
small g small g like that the dhl2 double haploid line 2 likewise many double haploid lines you are you have obtained so these double haploid lines are you see the homozygous lines this you need for developing new uh, 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 new hybrids for developing new hybrids you, uh, hybrids you need new inbred lines so how quickly within two years second year you have obtained within two years you are getting the inbred lines whereas in normal uh, breeding method you are going to take seven eight years to obtain this inbred line so this is third the fourth fast development of habits of course i have described here itself because for developing hybrids new hybrids you need new inbred lines for developing new inbred lines if you are using this dhl technique you are getting quickly so in normal condition in normal breeding method you are going to take seven eight years for developing new inbred lines here you are going to take Two three years only. So within two three years you have developed new inbred lines. So as in case of cross pollinated crops, we need to have new inbred lines to develop new hybrids. So if we produce new inbred lines quickly, so we can develop new hybrids very quickly. Now uh, come to next use. The fifth helps in induced mutation. As you know that for mutation you must have the line which is pure homozygous so if you are in case of even in cell parent crops if you are not getting that much purity you go for double haploid line but for generally in case of cross parent crops you don't have homozygous lines so you have to have the inbred lines as homozygous lines so if you are getting inbred lines quickly the homozygous line quickly in case of self or cross point crops so that is helping the induction of good mutants so it is essential to have homozygous lines for induced mutation hence this technique helps in induction of homozygous lines quickly resulting fast induction of mutations the sixth quick induction of genetic variability you see for creating genetic variability you are making hybridization between two different genotypes you are getting f1s and then getting f1s then you are producing f2 to get the variability large number of variability you are getting then you are taking lot of time many generations seven eight nine generations to make them homozygous so how many years so many lines many variable lines at the end of seven eight years you are getting of course many inbred lines uh, many homozygous lines which are variable to each other from a single cross but what you are going to get here quickly when f1 sir anther culture or pollen culture or ovule culture we get large number of variable haploids which can be quickly made homozygous by chromosome doubling to get dhls where uh, which are which are variables which are which are variables of course when the hap haploids are variables different types of haploids you have achieved and then by colchicin treatment doubling the haploids you are getting double haploid lines these haploid lines are entirely variable to each other so you try to test them and then go for and you are getting the variability which is required for doubling a new new varieties and similarly related to this if you come development of biotic abiotic resistant varieties very quickly here also the same thing uh, for developing resistant varieties if your variety has become susceptible if you wish to improve 
for that you have Bycross method, but if you are willing to have a new variety with resistance to particular prevailing disease, insect pest, even for drought, even for flood, or any type of biotic abiotic stress resistant varieties, you can develop it quickly by developing DHLs, uh, double haploid lines quickly. So you see, when susceptible variety is crossed with resistant donors and F1 is obtained and F1s are anther pollen or ovule cultured to get different types of haploids and these F1s are used for chromosome doubling to get different types of DHLs, double haploid lines, which may be grown to test the resistance and yield and for testing for resistance as well as for yield potential to develop new resistant varieties quickly through this double applied techniques so dear students now i have covered almost every part of this chapter the haploid dihaploid and double haploid in four parts i hope that uh, this will help you to uh, to know to clear your concept i mean on this on uh, on this topic uh, this is all for today thanking you very much <clears throat>